Now in 2024, everything's a subscription, especially when it comes to YouTubers. They're making enough money, they have a good reputation, their audience love them. But greed comes behind their ears, whispers, fingers their ears with greed for money and tells them to start a subscription and add absolutely zero value to whatever you're promoting. And in some cases, there are values to the subscriptions, which we are going to talk about it later in this video. But in most cases, it has zero value. Like those YouTubers two months ago, the YouTube channel called The Watchers, they came forward and they announced that they will be posting their videos in some other subscription-based platform like Netflix, for example. So from now on, if you want to watch their YouTube videos, you have to go and subscribe to monthly or yearly basis in order to be able to watch their videos. High quality series in season form, beautifully organized, ad-free. It's what we were destined to be. They were averaging around a million views. That's around three, four thousand dollars maybe even more, and that is enough. Imagine how many videos you're gonna post a month. That is enough for the entire cast to pay their bills. But since they went greedy, everyone absolutely shitted on them, and now they're averaging around 200,000 views on each video. And in the future, 100%, we're going to have YouTubers who are going to tell you that, are you tired of normal air in the air? Do not worry, with only 9.99, I will blow on the screen and you will experience premium air. Is your phone experiencing 4k only that is only for peasants for only 12.99 a month we will whenever you open our videos you'll be experiencing a super 4k quality with each of our videos that you we post and in today's drama we got the one and only marcus browley who got himself into a subscription situation if you don't know who marcus is he's the keith lee of tech on youtube he tells someone do not buy this product it is bad for you everyone will spit on that product and they will never even Look at it twice. A very loved and respected creator by his audience, but just two days ago, he announced his new wallpaper app, which you have to pay a subscription in order to skip the ads. And people were just not happy with it. Let's go watch the video and then we'll talk about it later. You know what I've been doing way longer than two weeks? Working on a new app that we are finally launching. You guys have always been asking me where I get my wallpapers. Like it's frequently the number one suggested search result under my name, has been for years. So now we've put them all in one place. It's called Panels. And it's finally live in the App Store, both on iOS and on Android. Feels really good to be able to say that. So if you're wondering where the wallpaper on these phones in the review came from, Panels. If you're wondering where the wallpaper in the last video came from, Panels. Matter of fact, almost all of the wallpapers on the devices and in backgrounds you've seen in my videos for the past year have all come from panels, which is pretty sick. We have a bunch of awesome artists over there that we are splitting profits with 50-50, and there's already a ton of great collections of art and much more incoming. And we have some pretty big plans for this thing. So it's starting off as a wallpaper app now. I don't wanna overpromise too much, but it's going to be pretty consistently improving over time, which is part of the reason why we're offering a subscription to support it. So go pick it up now. Poke around, find your new favorite wallpaper, your new favorite artist, and let me know what you think. It's kind of fun to be on the other side now, on the development side where now other people are going to review what we make, which is always exciting. Now the comment section on this video is filled with no one's paying $50 a year for a regular wallpaper app, little bro, 50 bucks a year is horrendous for a guy that says he hates subscriptions. This subscription culture has to stop. This update is so really good that people are just ignoring the phone and making fun of your app. I stopped paying attention to the video because of how entertaining the comment section is. Someone commented things you can get with $50, a new air fryer, electric toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, deodorant, car oil filters. Another person commented you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I would say you either die a hero or you live long enough to start a subscription. Now apparently a lot of people have been asking Marcus about his wallpaper. I don't know if he just made it out of his ass just to advertise his new app or people would actually been asking since is a tech channel. I don't know if these people are asking, they never heard of Google searching up whatever photo you want and just saving it as your wallpaper, or maybe he has just unique panels inside. And thank God I didn't. I was actually, I had my own app that I wanted to launch like next month as well. Thankfully with his backlash, I won't be releasing the wallpaper, but my prices were going to be way lower. First, let me show you the wallpaper that I have. It has a very unique name. Well, it had a very unique name since so I won't be you know, launching it because I'll get a lot of backlash for it. And it consists of one picture and one picture only, which makes it very extremely unique. And the pricing, my pricing was actually better than Marcus. It was only $200 
a month. Now, apparently Marcus's audience and the people watching this video and anyone just hating on Marcus, they didn't really pay attention to the whole video or maybe they just didn't watch the whole ad itself. But it says the app itself is free. But if you want panel plus, which is going to be ad free, it is going to be $50 a year but if you want monthly basis only it's going to be twelve dollars i believe for a wallpaper twelve dollars is a lot even if you get the panel plus yearly fifty dollars a year it is going to be like four point two dollars a month which i think for a wallpaper is a lot it's like a full-on prime subscription now you can use the app for absolutely for free even in the comment section mark has just clarified saying that the panel is free we added an ad free tier for those who want it no pressure obviously if you don't now the free version of this app consists of like limited not you cannot have access to all the wallpapers obviously if you want to you know get all of it you need to put play the plus but every time, even if you want to, you know, download the free versions, free photos, wallpapers on your phone or desktop, you have to watch two ads. That is one thing people didn't really like. And the second major thing, which, you know, he started getting a lot of backlash from is whenever you launch the app, it asks you if they can track your location. Why do you need my location for a wallpaper app? What the fuck is this? A dating app? And Marcus immediately yesterday just jumped on Twitter and said, part of building in public is getting mass feedbacks immediately, which is pretty dope. Almost exactly like publishing a YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. First thing we're doing is fixing the excessive data disclosure as people rightfully brought it up. For transparency, we'd never actually ask for your location, internet history, and etc. Trust me, Marcus, you wouldn't want to know my search history. The data disclosures that everyone is screenshotting is likely too broad and largely driven by what the ad network suggests, working to fix that ASAP. As far as pricing, I hear you. It's your own personal challenge to work to deliver what kind of value for the premium version. Weekly Friday drops, blah, blah, blah. I'll also be dialing back ad frequency for the free experience. Much more to come. I appreciate you all. Someone commented under that post saying, bro, your innovation that you brought up to market was a wallpaper app. A wallpaper app, wallpaper app, laughing my ass out, a wallpaper. Marcus replied, dog, the target market for this is insanely small. Most people don't download the wallpaper app. This is for those who have been asking. If you're not into it, don't worry about it. Now, I doubt that this is true, that this is only for the people who want to. This is for a small targeted people who've been asking for this whole thing. I doubt it. They definitely want more people outside this market target to absolutely like pay for the subscription but okay whatever you say but if you think about it it's not that big of a deal it's not like ksi and L logan paul mr beast coming and saying do you see this uh, lunch lunchly you will get six packs if you buy it they're not false he's not falsely advertising it he's just telling you if you want it you can get it you don't want it you don't want to get it. am i am i gonna get it personally fuck no but you know what you should get? Koosh wallpapers for only $200 a month. And when it comes to the IP location situation, most of our apps on our phones are asking for this before, you know, when we download it, when we get in, they're asking if they can track our location and you just press no. Even when you're watching Instagram, TikTok, your front camera is going to be capturing your face, your double chin and your loud breathing either way. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong if you want to start your own business, your own brand after, you know, you're very successful on a social media platform, you have a huge audience and a loyal community. But that is only if you add value to the thing that you're selling to your audience. Like I believe for YouTubers, food products, I think that drink product is an absolutely great idea. The reason Logan Paul KSI, they're getting absolutely shitted on is because first of all, 10% they're not likable, but 90% is the fact that they're false advertising. And that is a reason why a lot of people are just angry at this whole situation you have to add value to whatever the fuck you're selling like for me i'm going to be starting my own business once the community grows and becomes stronger and there's a lot of views right now watching and like i said in my channel one of the businesses i'll be opening is the g, g spot shawarma spot you see how that rhymes g spot shawarma spot it's either that or ku shawarma where there's so, the garlic and the chicken is so delicious inside that shawarma your soul will get pregnant. What value is my business adding to you? It will make you come straight up. But the only issue I see with Marcus's new app is just the pricing. I think for wallpaper is just a bit too high, but at the same time, he's going to take 50% of the profits and the 50% is going to go to the people who developed it or whoever he's partnered with. So this is more like the people who wanted to get his wallpapers specifically. So they're going to say, you know what this wallpaper is? This is Marcus's wallpaper. This is one thing. Another thing, it would be just wanting to support Marcus. This is one way of like super thanks through YouTube. But this is for the people who have a strong relationship with their wallpapers. I don't really care. Just go to Google like every six months just to 
change up the vibe of my phone and I just download a picture from literally Google and I just put it up as my wallpaper. That, that's about it. Anyways, just wanted to share my thought up, thoughts about this whole situation. Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe if you're new here. Take it for yourself. I will see you with the next.